Welcome to part three of the HMS Valiant build-up. Uh, I made some progress on the kits that I thought I'd share with you. The surface uh, of the sea is actually now completely dried out, which is great. That's taken about, uh, I think that took about four days in total to get to this stage. There's still some work left to do on it, um, but I'm not going to do that until such time that the ship is uh, securely in place, because that way, if there's any uh, miscalculations along the edges here, uh, where we've got the template, then the, the, the second stage will actually help to um, cover those up. But basically, the um, what I need to do is get the bow waves in at the front. There's also some waves that need to be created down the sides here. And then we've also got the, uh, the stern waves and also the choppy water from the propellers at the back end to do as well get those on that's going to then take a few more days to dry and then once that's dried I'll then be able to go back in and do the uh, the third stage which will basically be putting the white caps on um, dry brushing the white caps onto some of the waves just to help make it look that little bit more realistic the actual base itself I didn't actually uh, go through the colors that I used on this which was a little bit remiss of me to be fair but basically um, I used um, Americana um, uh, craft acrylic paints and this one is the turquoise blue uh, and I used that to actually go right around the edges of the model and I've then feathered that out with uh, the true blue um, paint uh, just to help darken it up as we went out into the various colors and then whilst the uh, true blue was still wet in some areas I just went over it with the uh, uh, the black uh, just to create a few little areas around here as you can see there's a what looks like a little bit deeper water and also around that area as well just to signify that either a there's a lot of rocks or something underneath there or plants or whatever that's actually darkening the water down uh, and the the lighter colors across there would actually also help to um, tell the story that that's basically the water that's been chopped up by the ship and it's it's actually put some oxygen into the water and it's kind of turned it a lighter blue. Uh, most of that will disappear under the uh, under the white um, dry brushing but some of it will still come through at the same time as well so that should look pretty good. I mean it's the first time that I've done this so you know I'm not quite sure exactly how um, good it's going to turn out but so far I'm, I'm quite happy with the base. Um, so I'm just going to need to leave that for a little while. The the only problem that I got up with the base at the moment is the fact that the whole thing is actually starting to curl its toes up. Hopefully that will naturally settle back down again. If it doesn't, by the time I actually put this uh, on the display base, when I glue it down, I just need to put some fairly heavy weights on each side just to um, make sure that that sticks down when it's glued on. And that should, <laughs> fingers crossed, take care of that. But as for work work wise, um, it doesn't look as though there is a lot of progress on this kit, if I'm to be honest with you. Um, but we've done quite a bit of work because the photo etch for this kit is quite tricky um, to handle. And because it's so small as well, you know, you just have to be really, really careful with the way that you're doing it because you can bend it quite easily. It's, it's really thin stuff. But we've built up one of the back end, uh, the part of the back end of the ship. There's still some more work to go on this, but you can see there we've got um, the two ladders on there, and then we've also got the two photo etched decks on there. And what we've had to do, where those decks are, there was uh, plastic instead. Those little steps, there was plastic there, so they've had to be removed for the photo edge to go on so as you can imagine because we've got the detail with the door there as well we have to be very careful on how we actually do that so it does take a little while just to uh, sand everything down unfortunately it's one of those situations where you can't rush in where angels fear to tread uh, you just need to take things very very slowly and do things bit at a time now with this bit the top section hasn't actually been uh, glued on yet the reason for that is uh, that there's still quite a bit of work to do on this before um, I can glue this down. Uh, basically what I need to do is paint 
uh, the inside of these areas here first uh, because once this decks on I'm not going to be able to get my airbrush in there the airbrush won't get in there to cover those areas I'm just really just keeping the top on there to make sure that everything stays straight even though it's glued and it's uh, completely dried I just like to keep it on there just to keep it straight but on here you can see we've got uh, at the back there we've got the uh, the photo etch uh, railings and then we've also got the ladder in there as well now that, those those little ladders are quite tricky um, with those ladders you have to bend the steps at a 45 degree angle and you also then have to bring the sides in as well of the ladders at a 45 degree angle as well just to give them that uh, unique 3D look but they're so small you can't really see them that well on the camera to be fair which is a bit of a shame um, sometimes you can it depends what angle you've got it at and then we've got some more photo edge at the back end uh, now the plans do actually call for that gap to be there I'm not sure why to be quite honest but they do and then we've got some more photo etch down that side and also another set of ladders now those ladders are taking about uh, sort of 10 minutes ago to actually get to, to the point where you can you can deal with them and uh, glue them into place at the moment I'm just using um, super glue to tack those in uh, and to keep them in place and then by the time everything's sprayed over the paint will actually help to also then uh, keep them in place uh, the bridge itself, uh, the bridge section is coming along. Um, this is quite fiddly, this bit. There's, I think on this there's about f uh, 16 different pieces, uh, including the photo etch. Uh, so we've got two bits of photo etch there. And then we've got, uh, I think it's 14 pieces uh, in, in total, just to make that top part of the bridge section. Uh, so as you can imagine, that's quite, quite fiddly, quite hard, um, quite slow going. And then we've got the main section here as well, and this is made up of uh, quite a few bits as well. There's uh, one, two, uh, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So the, yeah, there's twelve parts of plastic on this so far, with more to go. And then we've got the photo etch on the bottom, as you can see there. Uh, so we've got the photo wedge box and we've got the two supports for it there and then we've also got another two supports there and then if we turn this around uh, you'll be able to see we've got supports in there and then we've also got more supports in on that side as well so there's a lot of supports on that and then if we just take the actual ship itself as well these are the first parts of photo which I've done just to help break myself in um, we've got a ladder just there that we've put in and we've also got another little bit of uh, photo etch there we need to get the guns in place as well but I'm not going to bother putting those in until such time that we're ready for them uh, and then again on the other side we've got another little ladder there and also uh, another one of those little uh, breakwaters but even those ladders there are 3D as well so all of the sides on those were actually bent round too so yeah, these photo part, these little photo waste parts are quite bendy, or and they they're quite fragile, uh, and they're quite tricky because they are quite bendy and fragile. You know, you just need to make sure that you're bending them in the right way, um, otherwise you could uh, could quite easily snap them. Really, to be quite honest, which is something that we don't want to do. Um, so that's about it for the moment. I'm going to carry on and get some more work done to this. Uh, as I say I'm still in the photo etch uh, stage of it and I'm going to be there for quite some time I think because we've still got um, I would say on this one we've got about 75% uh, of the photo etch left on there maybe a little bit more and then if we take the other one again on this one we've still got about 80% of the photo etch uh, left on this one so it's going to be quite some time before we've actually done this. I, 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 I think we're looking at at least another two, possibly three weeks uh, of uh, photo hetch heaven, really. 
Uh, but as soon as I've made some more progress on this, I will come back to you. Made quite a bit of progress um, on the kit now. It's all been slow going, and the work that I've actually done doesn't look like a lot. But uh, believe you me, when you're when you're dealing with parts as small as uh, these, it takes quite a while to um, actually uh, get these things together. Uh, if we look at the uh, Ford superstructure, uh, the parts count on this part is 109 and rising. So, you know, there, there are a lot of uh, small little greeblies uh, that need to go on. If I get a little pointy stick and show you, you'll, you'll be able to see uh, what I'm having to deal with. Uh, for instance, this little part here uh, needs to uh, go on separately. There's also a little part there as well that needs to go on separately. Uh, this little part here and there. Uh, we've also got a little part just there. Oh, let me bring that back in the camera. Sorry, there we go. So that part there, there's a little part just there as well. And we've got the lifeboat there. Uh, and we've got this part here as well and that part there. Uh, we've also got uh, guns as well to go in these ports here and that's made up of two pieces. It's going to be exactly the same on the other side. Uh, all of these parts uh, are separate. Um, and then we've got little separate parts here as well down the side plus the fact we've got all the photo etch on there as well and then if we look at the back um, you'll be able to see a little ladder just in there and then another little ladder there and one there and then another one there um, so yeah there's, there's quite a few bits on this part as I say it's 109 parts just on this uh, the full superstructure and that part count is actually rising quite rapidly um, as I say I mean they've got a lot more details on here that you do need to actually add on to the ship um, but I, I'm not complaining about that because you know those details do actually help to make this kit come alive and uh, there are a few companies out there that will remain nameless that could uh, actually learn uh, a, a good number of lessons on how to actually make proper tooling um, as I say those companies will remain nameless uh, such as AMT and, and Polar Lights oh did I just say that out loud oops I thought that I was just saying that in my head for a second then uh, but anyway <laughs> uh, this kit is absolutely fantastic it just does take a long time to do all the little fiddly bits um, I mean if we look at the, uh, the middle superstructure We've got the bottom part of it painted now and also on the underside of the top part of the deck. Um, we've also added a lot more photo etch to it as well. Uh, this top part is actually now glued down. So we've got, as you can see there, we've got all of the photo etch uh, railings on board. Uh, we've got another one, two, three, four, five, six ladders added to that as well. You know, so this is, this is starting to take shape as well. There's a lot more work that needs to be done to this as well, um, but that won't be done until such time that I've got the uh, the forward superstructure sorted out properly as well. But uh, it, it's getting there. It's uh, taking a bit of time, but it is getting there. And then we've got the rear part of the deck done as well. Whoop, nearly lost that then. Um, and as you can see, this is the rear superstructure. It's a bit smaller. Um, but we've got two ladders on there and two little deck plates for the ladders to rest on. Uh, and those two little deck plates, uh, there were plastic components on there. Uh, they had to be removed uh, very delicately as well because you've got the, the details of the doors there as well. So, you know, you have to be very careful and uh, sort, of sort those out as, as good as possible. But there's still a, lot, still a lot more work left to do for this particular part as well, believe it or not, you know. Um, so let's just get that back in uh, position. But you, you can actually see there really for the way that that's lying that there's um, a, a good amount of progress. Uh, we've also got uh, the main mast that does actually fit into that gap there. Um, we've, we're starting to get that sorted out. We've got the brass pole there, uh, there's a, uh, a little ladder that we've added to the side there and then you've got those uh, two 
uh, support struts there that have been added as well. So that's four parts alone just there. Um, we're also working on the uh, Starfish platform. Uh, this is currently made up of, of two parts. There's about another 10, uh, maybe 15 parts that need to go on this particular part before that's finished. Um, we've also got the uh, antenna as well there. We've needed to modify that. The plastic part that was on the top there, we've chopped off, sanded it down. Uh, we've got photo etch that's actually replacing that. So, you know, more photo etch work to be done there as well. So it is taking a bit of time. It's most probably, I would say, going to take me the rest of the day now, or possibly the rest of the weekend, just to uh, get the uh, the full superstructure ready um, for painting. And then I just need to move on to the uh, the middle superstructure as well, uh, and then get that finished off. There's a lot of boats that do need to sit on there, and uh, I believe there's uh, there's a couple of cranes that sit there. Um, and I think there might be a couple of guns or something that sit there as well. So yeah, there's there's definitely um, a lot of work that needs to be uh, done to finish uh, those bits off, ready for painting. Uh, today as well, if I if I get time over the weekend, um, I'm just going to need to sand down the uh, the paintwork on the superstructure. Uh, that's going to need a light sanding with uh, 120 grit paper before I then go back in and sand that again oh sorry spray that again for the second coat and then once that's done I'll then be able to go in and get all the secondary colours put onto it as well just to uh, help bring that back together uh, so yeah there's, there's still a lot of work left to do on this um, it's going to take quite some time to do I think uh, so I, I really believe that uh, starting, at, starting this at the beginning of the year um, was the right call uh, but as soon as we've got some more work done to this I will come back to you managed to get uh, most of the starfish uh, platform put together yesterday uh, that was a tricky proposition this uh, this little part here represents about um, sort of six hours worth of work to be honest and by which point my eyesight was given up on me so I just went along and did a few other little bits and pieces as well but it's not uh, looking too bad. I'm not going to take it off of the off of the uh, the mask for the moment because it is uh, still quite delicate and there's still some work that needs to be done to it. But what we do is we try and zoom into it for you so you can see uh, what it looks like. There you go. That's not actually, as I say, it's not actually glued in place properly. It's just resting on there, as I say, because I do have some more work to do to it. Um, but there are a high number of parts on this. Uh, I think I'm up to about 37 parts just for this a bit alone. Uh, and there's some more work to go to it yet. Um, I've also got the radar uh, sensor finished as well. If I can pick that up. Uh, this is quite small. Um, this part here... If we can get this in camera for you, has got seven. Uh, sorry, it's got four parts in it, and that will actually then sit on the top of that bit once it's ready. Um, there is another platform to build that goes on the top of this too, and then we've just got some various ladders, etc. So once that's all built up, um, and I've just then got the few extra parts in there. Um, I'll then be able to start assembling this. I think I might leave that until very last actually because there are some other bits and pieces that I do need to sort of hand paint around there as well so I think the starfish platform once it's built completely will be the very last thing that goes on top but it's not looking too bad um, one of the other things I've done as well uh, to help save my eyes is um, I have put a few more details on there as you can see we've got the uh, the little front piece on there uh, and then we've got this bit up here as well and this bit here this back bit here does consist of three separate pieces as well as you would expect so that's been done I also uh, started working on the uh, the chimney as well uh, or should I say the smokestack really actually for a ship um, I put that together yesterday that just still needs a little bit of work doing to it that's, um, my eyesight was just giving up, giving up on me last night, so I just decided to quit. 
uh, whilst I was ahead of the game. So main aim uh, for me today really is to get the rest of that finished and I know that that is going to take quite some time because the pieces on this are so small um, it is unbelievable and there's a few parts as well that do need to be bent with it as well. So that's going to take a little bit of time and it's going to be a little bit of fun. Um, and one of the other things I did as well yesterday as you can see from the front there um, I was just uh, getting some of the other photo edge parts out just to see how they would fit. Uh, this is for the double chain uh, for the anchors that uh, sit on the uh, the bow of the ship there. I just wanted to see how they were going to fit down. I also gave the hull of the ship uh, a light sanding as well yesterday so I can go along whenever I'm ready and just respray that as well. So hopefully I might be able to get that done today. Uh, but I'm not going to put myself under any pressure. It just really does depend on how long it takes me to get that last bit of photo etch done for that. Uh, so as soon as I got that little bit done, I will come back to you.